with the Royal Rumble behind us, we resume our journey down the road to WrestleMania. This is Oklahoma's own Jim Ross here with Jerry the King Lawler, and the controversy surrounding our champion continues. Yeah, our general manager just lost his job over it. Actually, I believe he was sent on a indefinite vacation, King. Well, whatever you call it, the McMahons are really running the show now. Mr. McMahon, with all due respect, it's not a good use of Raw's resources to use our superstars in a personal vendetta. And as long as I make decisions that benefit this brand, we both know that I can't be removed from my position. Well, hold on there. I don't want to remove you. Quite the opposite, in fact. I want to reward you with an extended vacation until after WrestleMania. Fortunately, my daughter Stephanie is a former general manager, and I'm sure she'll fill in admirably until you return. Don't forget to write. What happened to the lights? Somebody must have fallen asleep in the switch. Oh my God. Do you see what I'm seeing? I see it, but I don't think he does. Well, he sure sees him now. It might be the last thing he ever sees. And he'll be lucky if that's the worst that happens to him before WrestleMania. The road to WrestleMania continues. Jim Ross and Jerry Lawler at ringside. And King, it sounds like Raw will have a presence at No Way Out in less than two weeks. And for the champion, there really might be no way out. He'll be up against one of the most powerful superstars in WWE history. I know much like his odds. Yeah, and there's only one guy in the locker room who supports him. How long do you think that's going to last? Tonight's main event could be one of the biggest matches in WWE history. What was that? Wake up, Jeff. Wake up. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. No, no. Uh, uh. Ah! <laughs> I thought these two were terrifying before, but seeing them this angry is something else entirely. They're frustrated that they didn't get to completely dismantle the champ, but it wasn't for lack of trying. I know that this is a tough business, but there are rules. You can't just end a superstar's career. Tell that to these guys, or better yet, tell that to Mr. McMahon. No, thank you. I have no desire to make a target of myself. That's the smartest thing you've said all night. We are less than six weeks away from WrestleMania. This is good old JR Jim Ross here with Jerry the King Lawler at ringside. And the managerial shakeup in WWE continues. That's right. SmackDown has a new general manager, Shane McMahon. The McMahons are obviously increasing the pressure as we approach WrestleMania. And if you think things were bad for him before, you ain't seen nothing yet, JR. He's headed back to SmackDown with his hat in his hand. I think he would have preferred to have gotten some more of his opponent. I can see why. Did you see how he handled him in there? Actually, I thought his opponent gave a good accounting of himself. Well, he'll be able to walk away from the ring. I guess that's something. It's better than some of this man's opponent have been able to do. Yeah, but if they meet again, I'm not so sure he'll get that lucky twice. We are just over one month away from the biggest sports entertainment event of the year, WrestleMania. Boomer Sooner, everybody, it's Jim Ross alongside Jerry the King Lawler. We are at ringside, and there's no rest for this superstar tonight. Stephanie McMahon is sending one of Raw's finest after him. And she hopes to succeed where her big brother failed last week. 
The McMahons are tenacious people, JR. They'll keep trying until they succeed. I think the McMahon's relentless pressure is finally starting to get to him. If he thinks that throwing a tantrum is going to get them to back off, he's dead wrong. I don't think he expects them to back off. In fact, I think that's what's frustrating. Tough. If he wants to come out on top, he's got to beat the McMahon's at their own game. And very, very few superstars have ever done that. I'm having a hard time even naming one. Welcome to Raw, where WrestleMania is less than one month away. I'm good old JR Jim Ross here with Jerry the King Lawler. And the McMahons intend to burn the barbecue tonight because they're turning up the heat. You're not kidding. A handicap match against two of Raw and SmackDown's top superstars. Individually, they're a challenge for any superstar. But together, together, they're enough to make a superstar think about a career change. Is over there's a big difference between knowing and caring oh no what are they doing now oh this is gonna be bad talk about a malfunction at the junction he's got to be the luckiest superstar on the roster but his luck won't hold out forever Less than three weeks remain until WrestleMania. This is Jim Ross along with Jerry Lawler at ringside. And tonight, Raw and SmackDown go head to head. Shane and Stephanie McMahon's superstars are gonna blow off a little steam here tonight. And the superstar they've been trying to destroy for weeks earns a short reprieve. Yeah, but once this little family feud blows over, it's back to business as usual. a physical match but nothing like this and we can thank a certain interfering superstar for this i'm sure the mcmahon's won't be pleased but what more can they do to him i don't think you want to know the answer to that question and i'm sure he doesn't you've got a point if the mcmahon's were angry before they're beyond furious now and that's not good news for anyone around here In two weeks, he's made monkeys out of the McMahon's lackeys. Don't look now, but I think you spoke too soon, JR. I don't think I've ever seen the WWE chairman take such a personal interest in the destruction of one of his own superstars. He's not one of his own superstars. That's the whole point. Around here, it's Mr. McMahon's way or the highway. We are less than two weeks away from WrestleMania. Jim Ross and Jerry Lawler at ringside. And tonight, the battle continues between the champion and the McMahon's enforcers. Yeah, and Mr. McMahon has added another one to the mix. If you thought the odds were bad before, they're almost insurmountable now. Or to put it another way, Someone's up the creek without a paddle. Oh, man. He's favoring that leg. He should feel lucky he can even walk away from the ring after that. I'm not sure how lucky you should feel if your WrestleMania match has just been placed in jeopardy. Well, he brought all of this upon himself. Actually, I think it's more accurate to say Mr. McMahon brought it on. Hey, you disrespect the boss and his family, and this is what you should expect. We are just six days away from the granddaddy of them all, WrestleMania. It's good old JR Jim Ross and Jerry the King Lawler welcoming you to the final stop on the road to WrestleMania. And it might be this superstar's final stop, period. He's up against two of McMahon's hand-picked enforcers. 
If he wins, though, he goes to WrestleMania. And if not, he watches it on pay-per-view with the rest of the losers. Here we go again. That's not how he wanted that to go. You can't blame him one bit for not wanting to get back into the ring with that maniac. No chance. So that's what you All get. right. You want your WrestleMania match? You've got it. But I want blood. Your blood. So it's going to be the two of you in a first blood match. My God. These two are going to take each other to hell and... It's the greatest extravaganza in sports entertainment. Welcome to WrestleMania. It's also the night when the McMahons will finally get their revenge. Two of Raw's top superstars face off in a first blood match. It's one of the most unbelievably brutal matches there is. The most powerful forces in sports entertainment collide tonight, right here at WrestleMania. just don't believe it. He won the first blood match and defeated the McMahon's chosen enforcer. I knew he could do it. I was backing him all along. King, I'm in such a good mood that I'm just going to let that one slide. And I'm in such a good mood that I'm just going to pretend you didn't just accuse me of being less than truthful, JR. I have to think that even Mr. McMahon has to realize that this man is a force to be reckoned with. Mr. McMahon's a smart enough businessman to know when to write off a loss. And I don't see how he can do anything else after this. What an incredible night for Raw. And for that man right there, after tonight, no one can say that he's not the best of the best. My crown is off to him. We have to talk. What do you want? Money, 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 money. Are you going to break the news to him? You bet. You're traded. You're gone. You are now SmackDown property. So long. See, man, this is a good thing. Teddy Long wants you bad. You're going to rip through his lineup, so this ends up being nothing but roses for you. So, good luck. <laughs>